really, for me, the, the main thing is to ensure that, that people using the ports are aware that both the police and other agencies uh, do um, work together and separately at the ports in order to make the ports uh, a safe environment for people to work in and to use as possible, and to deny criminals uh, any opportunity to use the ports for illegal purposes. We, we try uh, as frequently as possible to work with both Border Force, uh, Customs, uh, VOSA and other um, law enforcement agencies and agencies who have responsibility for policing the ports uh, to try and work to, in, a, in a partnership uh, approach so that each agency can get the most uh, out of it in terms of spreading the messages about what their, their involvement is and what their, their priorities are for policing the ports. Uh, and also where we work together um, we can better use our, our powers together because some, some activity at the port is more relevant say to the police service than it is to border force and vice versa. Today we're focusing on uh, people using the port and generally people in vehicles so we're stopping and speaking to people and we're giving them uh, some leaflets which contain information about what we are doing at the moment. Um, so, um, on, on occasions where we've identified there are particular vessels that it's worthwhile us or border force boarding then we will do so but certainly today's operation is looking specifically at the traffic coming in and out of the board. The officers are using, um, uh, they can do a number of, uh, make a number of inquiries of the people, both the, the um, registered keepers of the vehicle, um, we were checking also to see the vehicles are, are roadworthy, those vehicles using the port. Um, so there's a variety of, of checks that both the officers and the um, staff from the other agencies will do to establish that, that uh, those people using the port are doing so legitimately. We've got a team from the um, HM Revenue and Customs Road Fuels Testing Unit today. They're testing vehicles to see that they've got uh, legitimate fuel in the vehicles and they're not using, uh, for example, red diesel or diesel that's not meant for, for road use. And we've also got a number of, of small air strips uh, and uh, a large road which although at the moment doesn't uh, carry any um, scheduled passenger traffic, uh, there are uh, certainly intentions for that to be the case. So there, there's, there's a potential within the ports of Cumbria for um, growth and development uh, and, and from a policing point of view uh, we yeah. need to ensure that we can keep up with that development um, and continue to ensure that uh, everything that goes on the port, uh, that goes on the port is, is lawful.